How do you feel about sex on a first night? What did he say? I personally wouldn't, but I mean, teach their own. If if the vibe is there, I I say go for it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Why wouldn't you go for that though? Even if the vibe is there with the guy. I typically like to have an emotional connection and like know someone on a deeper level and then get to that level before, you know, getting to that level. I'd like to build the emotional bond first. You smart. How long does that usually take? I think it's different with anybody. You could get that vibe after, you know, two dates, three dates, or it could take up to like three months, you know, with that guy that took me two months. Didn't get there until then. Is he still here? Is he still in the picture? He's not. Rejected. So it didn't really matter if it was night one versus three months now, does it? Fair enough, yeah. So, question. Do you guys think that women are good at picking men? Um, just go around. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, would, I wouldn't say so. No, I'd probably say. not. No, I don't. No, definitely not. So, so couldn't we say that, that that was an advantage back then? Because I think men vet other men better than women do. Because we, we just said women aren't good at picking men, right? And, and like every single person in the room. And, and the problem is like a lot of women will go after, like let's take Sierra, right? She'll, she'll go after future while she's young. And then, and then settle down with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson was the husband, but she went for future first. It's an evil world we live in. But do you know what that is, though? That's the women equivalent mm -hmm. of the male um, wifey and slut thing. What? Okay, right? so tell me more about that, yeah. Right, so basically, um, uh, men obviously tend to have a type of woman that they want to, you know, wife up. Quite often that woman, I don't think, um, lives up to their sexual expectations. Um, maybe even because she wants to be a wife and a mother, mm -hmm. she ends up doing more of that. Maybe she even, mm -hmm. like, not her fault, becomes a mother to him. Stop the cow. <laughs> I think Wait, that happens. How is, it, how, is it not, how is it not your fault? What do you mean? Uh, it's not her fault that she became a mother to, no, I'm to saying, him? No, I'm saying you were... Well, because obviously sometimes relationships just happen. And stuff. Yeah, you pick the guys you date. Mm, yeah, no, you do pick the guy. Yeah, yeah, you do. But I, I still think there's. A, we're, we're all living life on this weird rock. Like it's uh -huh. not. It's not. Okay, but sorry, I, I interrupted. You think uh, most modern women don't add value to a man's life? Truthfully, I feel like a lot of women lack a lot of things and they don't realize it and they think oh you're supposed to give this to me because i'm a woman stop it get some help but yet again what are you showing him for him to provide for you to make you be like okay maybe i should do that for you but i do feel like a lot of women don't have really a niche or like an actual how do i say it a mind of their own truthfully of course to really be like this is not what i want to do this is what i want to do <laughs> what age do women switch to dating nice boys? Maybe 20, 27. Eight, I was going to say four. Damn. Do you guys prefer to date traditionally or in a more modern relationship? Traditionally. Traditionally. Would you guys classify yourselves as traditional women? Yes, I would. How so? Are you a virgin? <laughs> gotcha, bitch. I think that's a bit too personal. No. But do you know what? I would really love to give you the... the the most wholesome and honest answer but I think the world is so judgmental that you know you can say your truth but you'll still be stigmatized or you know oh yes you're not telling the truth so you know what's funny to me about these modern day women they want you men to chase them they can't chase you you guys have to chase them and they want you to chase them and when you get them they expect you to spend all your money on them they expect you to pay all their bills. They want you to take them to fancy restaurants and ex buy them expensive gifts and fly them out. And the only thing they are going to give you in return is some tart coochie. Oh, that's nasty. Tart coochie that has a lot of mileage on it. Coochie that's been ran up in by everyone. They don't want to cook for you. They don't want to clean for you. They don't want to inspire you. They don't want to motivate you. It's all about them. They want the princess treatment. But in order for you to get that, you have to chase them. What? But hey, if you like it, I love it. No. 
Okay, what are the questions? Well, He's saying that guys are in the friend zone are like, they want more. They can't just be your friends. Of course. Of course. All but they like, want, that's their biology. They want to smash. You're goddamn right. That's their biological standpoint. Yeah, we can have friends, but at the end of the day, like, they all want to smash. Mm -hmm. They do. They think with their p*** out their heads. Like I like this one. 